Hey guys, it's Jess, and today I will be doing a little how-to video. These styrofoam tombstones. Couldn't think of the word. Um, I live in Texas, and before that I lived in Kansas, so I understand how uh, really windy weather might affect your Halloween decorations, and I want to show you how to make sure that they don't blow away because the little tiny stakes that you get with them do not work unless you have awesome soil and the tombstones are like this big. But in this case, they are not. Um, the tombstones you can get at like Walmart, you can get like a pack of four for maybe three, four dollars to a dollar, like anywhere from a dollar to five dollars. Um, so all you'll need is a tombstone that you like, some steaks. Uh, I got these at Walmart for like 80 cents. Uh, they're yellow um, and I got the 9 inch ones. You can also get the 12 inch, I believe that's they're there, but it's not necessary. Um, I also got Gorilla Glue to glue the steaks to the foam because the glue works uh, pretty well with foam. And this spray paint, it's this is also really, really cheap. I think this is either 80 or 90 cents, something like that. And it is just a flat black. Um, this is mostly just to uh, spray paint the stakes, which is what this is. Um, you don't have to spray paint all of it because you're not going to see this bottom part. Uh, I just spray painted this so it'll blend in a little bit better uh, with, this, with the uh, tombstone so it's not just a giant yellow thing. Um, so this is what the end result's going to look like when you spray paint it. Um, this stuff dries really, really fast. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect or an even coat, I guess, just as long as it covers uh, most of the yellow. So, I'm going to go ahead and take off, oh, make sure you take off all the little stickers um, when you're, uh, before you spray paint. Just, like, there'll, there'll be some residue and stuff like that there, but that's fine. Um, just to take this off so it's not uh, an extra hassle. And I'll be right back. Okay, and once you've gone ahead and spray painted all of your stakes, um, take uh, your tombstone, flip it over. Um, what you want to do for this step is just take it uh, where the flat side, um, depending on what kind. I suggest these ones because they have a flat edge and they're plastic, they're cheap, and uh, I just wouldn't buy the metal ones because, you know, this is styrofoam, it's not a huge expensive project. Also, make sure you do the spray painting and stuff like that outside because, as you can see, the discoloration of my grass, you do not want to spray this in the house. Oh, that and uh, make sure you get adult supervision because I believe you have to be a certain age to buy spray paint or something. I don't know. Um, but for this, just go ahead and mark out uh, how far you want it into the ground. Um, I usually do about where I stop because I usually hold it right here. And I try, try not to get it on my hands, but I didn't succeed. Uh, so I mark it right about there, um, middle. You only need one for each tombstone. And then I kind of push the head of it in there so it gives it like a little divot. It doesn't really do anything to uh, the structure of it unless you like smash it in there and it breaks through. Then you go ahead and take your Gorilla Glue. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Um, but take where that little mark and just give it a nice coat downwards. Um, it will puff up. So, I mean, you could use a lot. Oops, that already started to drip. But the uh, the glue will puff up to hold it. And pr it'll take probably an hour to do that. Um, you can have something heavy on it. I suggest doing that, but you don't necessarily have to. And just kind of push it down. Um, and do not touch it for at least a good hour to two hours um, just to let the glue set because it is um, pretty uh, liquidy glue, I guess. I always like to put a little extra because I like to be cautious. You don't have to put quite as much as I do or you could put more on. Um, but yeah, go ahead and let that dry. And when I come back, I will have all the stakes in there and I will be putting up my, um, my cemetery. 
Uh, after this set, uh, after this sets, um, it'll turn white. And uh, you can also just spray paint over it. Um, just make sure that the black or whatever color on the styrofoam is still there because uh, once the um, the paint that's already on it wipes off, the spray paint will eat uh, away at the foam. So just be wary of that. Okay, so that was my um, little tutorial for you uh, on the what it was supposed to be the 2nd of October and it is now the 6th of October. Um, sorry for the lateness, uh, but yeah, I hope that it works for you. I will be putting uh, everything that I used in the description box below. Uh, as far as this year, it was the best we could do in the short amount of time and the little, little amount of money that we had. So, I mean, I think we did a pretty good job. Anyways, like, share, subscribe. Comments are always welcome. Uh, please, if you have already decorated your room, your house, or your front yard, you can always leave me a picture on Instagram and Twitter. I would love to see uh, what you guys came up with or tell me any ideas for what I should do next year because uh, me or the goat and I have uh, a few ideas to make it bigger and better. A lot, a lot bigger and a lot better. Um, it may have to take a little while before we uh, finally get our uh, whole shtick, but I don't know if it's going to be different every year. Um, probably not seeing as um, what we want to do next year might be a little expensive um, and then we'll just keep with that theme and then add on to it. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye. Have a wonderfully spooky day.